Hey everyone and welcome. So let's just jump right into it. So you click this because you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to learn about entrepreneurship. So who am I? You're on YouTube. You're looking up how to be an entrepreneur and get some advice or somebody shared this with you. I wanted to at least tell you of my experience really quick of why I feel that I could share this experience with you and some advice. So I started my first company when I was 22 years old, my last semester of college. Leading up to that, I had no clue what I wanted to do, like probably a lot of people. So the first company that I started was actually a mobile app design company called Grand Apps. It's still around today. I recently sold that in December of 2020. Yes, during the world shutdown. Within those nine years, I've launched several other businesses. I failed many times. I invested in real estate. I had a video production company, a floor installation company. Currently what I'm doing right now is I've launched another business in 2018. So for the past three years, I've been building that up. What that is, is very custom software development. Kairos Digital, I'll put a link below. Feel free to check that out. And I also have another startup called Sidekick AI. That's my first ever SaaS business product that we're launching to the world where users can go sign up, they can jump on, and they can use it. Again, I'll put links below, check those out. So back to you. What I wanna give you is, is very practical. It's very practical and I think this is going to really help you be set up for success. The truth and the reality of the fact is a lot of entrepreneurs actually have small profitable businesses where they may have a handful of employees, maybe it's just them, but they're making money and they are living a lifestyle that they love. I think the technical definition on Webster's is basically along the lines of somebody taking on a little more risk than somebody else, right, in business, providing opportunities. Again, you don't have to come up with a world-changing technology or idea. You also don't have to follow trends and you also don't have to be a creator or innovator. So step one in this blueprint, what I would recommend is start something small and also start service-based business. Now, starting a service-based business, this is going to give you probably the biggest likelihood to succeed, especially if you're a brand new entrepreneur. The reason is because you're going to keep your overhead low. You're not gonna have huge office expense. You're not gonna have huge product expense. You're not gonna have a lot of barriers of entry because basically when you start a service-based company, you are trading something that you're good at and you're selling that service to other people. You're essentially trading your time for money. That is a very, very great business to start. That's what I started. Grand Apps was basically a service-based company where we traded our knowledge of designing and launching mobile apps to businesses in our local community. Also, what's gonna happen is as you grow that business, you're gonna find out if you like being an entrepreneur because it's gonna be very challenging. You're gonna wear tons of different hats. You're gonna wear sales, marketing, finance, HR, management, all these different hats of a small business of what an entrepreneur wears, you are going to wear those hats, which is gonna give you a lot of experience. That's something you wanna build, especially if you're new, is experience. It seems overwhelming, I get it. That's why I say start small. Because if you absolutely hate it, guess what? You could always go get a job. And what's actually gonna help you a little more is since you tried this, you're gonna have so much experience, you probably have a little bit of a competitive advantage over somebody else who you're competing with for another job. So the step two of this transition is you have a little service-based company, you're running that, you're getting a lot of experience, that's awesome. Now, as you make this transition, you're gonna have a couple decisions to make. You're gonna build the service-based company up, let's say you're successful with it, you're gonna have a couple decisions to make. Number one, do you wanna run this business forever? Number two, do you possibly ever want to sell the business? A lot of people ask me, how did you know or why did you sell Grand Apps? I had three other business partners in that company, me, three others, and we just felt it was the right time. We've been doing it for a decade. We wanted to do some other things. There was an opportunity to take some money, uh, get some money off the table, and then use that money for our next things that we were already kind of building up. And we just wanted to do something different. We recap, service-based company, then deciding what to do next as you become more successful and as you start making more money and as you start gaining a lot of experience. Then what I did 
is step three, basically launching my first product on a bigger scale, something that you could sell across the world. So that's what I did as my transition of how to be an entrepreneur. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments below what else you wanna hear about. I've been through a lot, I would love to share that. All right, catch you guys in another video.